Hey everyone, I'm here now to um, start the class. The I have my oils now what class. I'm a little bit late, I had a little trouble setting up. So, but anyway, we just wanted to get started. And I just wanted to start out and just welcome you all. I'm glad you could join the class. I'm trying to think why, when I joined doTERRA, why I joined. And I think it was just because I wanted to have more natural ways to address some of the things going on at the time, like pain, um, sleep, mood, those kind of things. So I'm sure that that's why you all have joined, that you wanted to support digestion, um, immunity, emotions, metabolism, all those things. And we want to reduce the toxic load in our bodies. So that's pretty much the reasons that all of us have joined and started using these products. So once you've got your kits, I think that most of you that are new probably joined with the kits with the 10 basic oils. Um, so when you got the kit, I don't know if you were like me, if you were kind of like, oh my goodness, what do I do with all of these oils now that I have them? So you're in a good place. You're in um, the group, the team group, and this is where we do ongoing education all the time. I post recipes, tips, um, all sorts of things and you can ask questions here too so it's a great place to be and it's where you want to be to to have ongoing oil education um, so if you're thinking to yourself what in the heck do I do with all these oils um, we know that there's three ways to use them so we use them aromatically I don't know if you have diffusers yet but a diffuser is a really good way to use your oils aromatically you can get them out into the air you can affect sleep um, mood, emotions, you can sanitize the air. Um, we can also use them topically. Um, topically is a great way to use them if you're trying to address some skin issues or pain issues. Um, that's a good way to do it. If you want to use them internally, that's a third way that we use the oils um, specific to this particular brand, as we all know but you can use them internally to affect immunity, especially this time of year coming up. It's really a great way to use them. We can boost our immune system and keep ourselves really healthy throughout the upcoming um, cold and flu season. So what I'd like to do is I'm just kind of going to go over the 10 basic oils because I'm going to um, assume that a lot of you that are new that are wondering how to use the oils that you joined up with the basic kit which has those 10 basic oils. So peppermint, um, that's the best seller in doTERRA. That's probably the number one selling essential oil in the company. So it's great for any kind of digestive issues that you might have, um, any kind of stomach upsets. Um, this time of year when we get all this nasal congestion, um, it's great at reducing that inflammation in your nasal passages. Um, lemon. Lemon purifies. Lemon's a good one to have on hand all the time. You can use it in your cleaner. You can use it to sanitize surfaces. It's also good for uplifting moods. So when we talked about using the oils in a diffuser, lemon is a good one to put in the diffuser. It's energizing, uplifting, um, brightens your mood. And also if you take it internally, it will help with digestive support. Um, lavender. Lavender is good for anything calming, relaxing, sleep related. It's good for skin imperfections. You can take it internally and it will help um, reduce anxious feelings. I mean, that's another great one to put in the diffuser at night for sleep, mood, emotion, all of that. Melaleuca. Melaleuca is tea tree oil and that's another good one for skin cleansing. Um, it's good to put in your skin cleansing. It's good for skin imperfections. Um, if you have teenagers that have acne, it's a good one to add to their regimen for their skin care. I mean, if you use it internally, it's another one that will boost immunity. It has a lot of antifungal, antibacterial, um, antiviral um, effects. So oregano, oregano is another one that comes in the basic 10 oil kit. And that's a powerful cleanser. It's nature's antibiotic. Um, it's got a lot of antioxidant properties, especially if you use it internally. All you need is one to two drops and taking that internally, you can affect your immunity. So that's a really good one to use this time of year. Um, frankincense. Frankincense, if you diffuse that one, the aroma creates a peaceful environment, um, reduces anxious feelings, calms the mood. Um, it's also good for healthy cellular function. 
and really good to put in your skincare. It's good for skin imperfections. Some of the blends that came in your kits, Deep Blue. Deep Blue is a nice blend for any kind of aches and pains. Um, it's very soothing. You can use it after working out for muscle aches. Um, it's very cooling too to the skin, really nice. Um, the Breathe, Breathe Blend is good for clearing the airways. We talked about this one um, today for our LRP um, Oil of the Month Club, we're doing Breathe. Um, Breathe will um, clear your airways, it will decrease congestion. You can put it in the diffuser along with lemon. That's a really good combination. And it also helps with sleep, very calming. And then digestin, that's our anything um, stomach related, digestion related, stomach upset, gas, bloating, um, any GI problem, you want digestin. That's gonna soothe your GI system um, and support it in a great way. It's got fennel, anise, peppermint, ginger. Um, it's a really nice blend. And then On Guard. On Guard is the last blend in your kit. And that one is great for immunity. You can take that inter internally. It's really good this time of year. Um, it'll fight off all of the bugs coming our way. It's a good combination of clove, cinnamon, rosemary, eucalyptus, and wild orange. Um, we use it in our cleaning products as well because it's really good for sanitizing the surfaces. So some safety tips to go over. Um, you always want to dilute your oils. You can use something like fractionated coconut oil. This is the doTERRA one. Um, it's just liquid. You can use solid coconut oil if you want, or any kind of vegetable oil as a carrier oil. Almond oil, jojoba, grape seed, um, those all work really well. Um, the fractionated coconut oil is nice because it's light. Um, it's not greasy, it doesn't stain your clothes. Um, I put some um, new albums in this group in the file section, or in the photo album section about dilution and about carrier oil. So you can look, it's an album called um, Oil Use, Safety and Dilution, I think. So you can find all kind of information in there about diluting the oils and what to use, how many drops, and what's a safe dilution ratio. So the best way to order the product. So I don't know if any of you signed up for the Loyalty Rewards Program, but that's the absolute best way to order your oils. You can do them as a standard oil. You don't have to do LRP. But if you find that you're ordering something every month, LRP is the best way to go. And there's a couple of reasons why. If you order um, 50 PV or above, you will earn points back to use as cash for free product. Um, and the other reason to use it is you will get 100% of your shipping back as points to use as for product. And you also will only pay tax on the wholesale value of your order. When you do standard orders, they charge you tax on the retail amount. So if you do the LRP, you've got quite a few um, benefits. You can earn points for freebies, you can get freebies, and you can earn points back from the shipping. If you do standard orders, you only get 50% back. Um, so how do you know which oil to use? That's probably the biggest question that everybody has. Um, once they get their oils, they're kind of like, well, what, which oil do I use for what? And how do I know? And how do I know which oil is good? So like I said, being in this group is number one, the best thing you can do, but you can get yourself a reference book. So I have a couple I can show you. This one is Essentials of the Earth. This one's nice. It's not real big. It's pretty compact and you can you can look things up in here by oil or by ailment. So if you want to look up like headaches, you can look up headache and it will tell you which oils will work best. Or if you want to look up peppermint and say, well, what can I do with my peppermint oil? You can look it up by oil and it will tell you what that oil will do. Another couple of books that I have that are pretty good, Modern Essentials. This one's an old one. This one's um, a couple of years old. There's newer versions of it now, but Modern Essentials is a really good one. This is a, a doTERRA um, branded book, but it's, it's a nice one, and it has everything in here by oil and ailment. Another good one, this is a bigger one, is the Essential Life book. Um, this is a really nice book. It has tons of recipes in it and protocols. You can look up the oils, and again, you can look up different body systems. They have it broken down by um, mood, emotion, hormones, cardiovascular, 
um, pain immunity. And it's a really nice one if you want to um, get some recipes and learn different ways to use the oils. So those are some reference books. So I would suggest getting a really good reference book to have on hand so that you always have a place to look up your oil or whatever you're trying to address with the oil because the oils are so multi-purpose, all of them, 